The NAND gate is a universal logic gate. What that means is with the uh, basic logic gates you can make any of them if you have enough NAND gates. So the uh, NOT gate is the simplest one. By tying the inputs together then you will have one input because those two inputs have to be the same voltage. They're tied uh, directly together. Usually when you see the schematic it's not there. So it becomes a NOT gate. So we will take a look at that right here. So right now the uh, inputs are actually floating. I have all the extra ones here. We have a NAND gate right there. Third pin up is an input. Second pin up is an input. And the bottom pin is the output. It's lighting an LED 220 ohms. Now we're going to grab a, a couple of jumpers and first take a quick look at the NAND gate property. So as soon as I put this to the negative supply you'll probably see the LED get brighter and it did right there. So right now the output's completely on. Before it was kind of turning on and off rapidly but uh, in any case you couldn't really tell because it was going so fast. The LED look lit. So there we go. We have both jumpers to the uh, negative rail. I have to put both of them. I can move one or the other to the uh, positive but they both have to be to the positive rail for the LED to turn off. So now the output is low. So we have a high 5 volts at uh, both inputs. We have a low 0 volts at the output. Pretty straightforward. So now for whatever reason let's say we just want to deal with one input, one signal. And so we're going to put that jumper there and then the other side to the uh, top input and then the other side to the bottom input. Right there, just like you see right there. We tied that together. Now we have this circuit right there. So I can put this jumper to one or the other, doesn't matter. It is an electrical connection. So right now the output's high since it's a NOT gate. If I want to keep it high, I go to uh, the negative rail. In fact, it was floating. It was in between. But there we go. Negative rail, the output is high. So we gave a low input, had a high output. Now we have a high input and a low output. We have a NOT gate. So the NAND gate, if you have enough of them, can make any other gate. But the simplest is the NOT gate. So we looked at that one in this video. So this is the uh, quick video series. I'm going to end it there. Uh, if you don't know about uh, these logic gates already, I just did some recent videos on them. So I'm not going to go into detail on them. More than that, thanks for watching. Check out one of the other videos that I'm uh, putting up on the screen right now. Check out the links down in the description. That would help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.